Michael Salen has gone back to his old favorite Lovely. standard. Somewhere buried in there is the age-old streets of Laredo. He spied a young cowboy all dressed in white linen. Hi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to the fun nice. show here at Big TV. This is the November 18th edition of the fun show. Yeah. Um, um, we're here. Michael Salen is hunting for a tune on the Kira keyboard over there. Sitting between Michael and myself is Kira Minor. And I'm Art Joe Riley. I keep trying to be somebody else, but it doesn't work out. No, so. you look like Why, why bother? Yeah. Why bother making the effort? <laughs> Just enjoy. My batter should have concluded it's not an improvement by now, right? Wow. Anyway, so uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, and the past. basically uh, it's yeah. a rather impressive week because oh boy. we have actually started the impeachment process yeah, and uh, very good and any any honest right thinking person would say okay they can rest the case now <laughs> it's already been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt and the current occupant is such a bloody genius that in the middle of the testimony he goes to his twitter <laughs> And commits another impeachable yeah. offense. I like him because he does. He these is good, on a roll. He does these good things, you know, that make things better Just for everybody. Like shooting one himself one in the head. Yeah, right? the that's coffin. good. Yeah. And then his defenders. I mean, I, I, they're I don't tripping know. over themselves. It's sad. Nancy said to him, she sent him a message. If you want to come on the program? You're welcome anytime. <laughs> come here, take an oath, <laughs> tell whatever truth you want. <laughs> and you know, maybe Must she thought he'd, she'd actually trip him up because he obviously doesn't listen to his lawyers. Right. But there again, if your lawyer was Rudy Giuliani, you wouldn't listen to your lawyers. Oh, he, he'd bang his head on <laughs> yeah, the wall. Yeah, nah, I mean, line. that is I'm just. You, he, he can't handle it. It's um, surreal that this is our reality. She says the right things. Yeah, this this is this is at the moment is. Our reality. Anyway, so they're trying to say, well, how could he possibly be intimidating the witness when the witness was already testifying? Um, there's a whole list of more witnesses oh, are who are coming up oh, who boy. he is effectively trying to intimidate. Right. Um, witness intimidation is not just this witness. Just like, mm -hmm. just like extortion is not just one phone call. That's it. right. So, you know, so stretch yep. out. I love the way they Turn say, the but he got his money. Yeah, he got his money when the court ruled that they couldn't hold on to it. <laughs> he had yes. nothing to do with their getting the money. The court said, okay. you got no right to withhold that. Send the money out. There's two Empty arguments over and over again. Two women are generals now in the U.S. Army. And Only two? Oh, so are they sisters? Two. And their sisters. And their sisters. Right. I, I'm, I'm up on my news a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that is you very You can't cool. tell me that there's just two women off generals, no. though. I'm, I'm telling you what the New York Times said. That's all. You sure they said that? Yeah. Maybe is it a that the only a two women generals? General? Well, they didn't say any about other generals. They talked about. There's got to be other women generals. There might be. Maybe it's the two sisters being right. generals together. That yes, was, I, think that was what their I think that's was. more the story. They're then. both sisters. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's and good. The, and the Celtic streak is broken. Okay. Can I use my favorite old line? <laughs> yes. Who cares? Oh, that, another guy. I, <laughs> I can never remember what that favorite line is, I but I knew care. it was coming. I just, I There's knew it was There's a man something. at the place where I am. I, I don't, I don't care. No matter what. No matter what, I don't care. Whatever I ask him, he's, I don't care. That's all right. You can't get him to care. You keep trying to get him to care. I don't, he's like, no, I don't. I just like an answer. Well, well, yes, you but that means he has to he care to I don't care? No, no he's asking him his opinion. And I, when oh, he asks him his opinion. I just want a sound from him. That's oh, all. Okay. He I don't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't want to give his opinion. Excuse me. Please grunt. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Okay, everybody over there Let try to get him to say something. I don't care. Other than I don't care. Anyway, now, uh, what would he have said if his name was Hode Jose Jimenez? Oh, there's, that's good. So. Who's that? Oh, I mean... See, that shows like, that she's I, how young she is. It is. Bill Dana, a comedian, he played a character named Jose Jimenez. 
My name is Jose Bob, Jimenez. With Bob Hall. Okay, yeah. way back yeah. when. Okay. Yes, yeah, see, because that name, would not be racially appropriate today. My name is Jose Jimenez. You know, there are two, general, two uh, governors, two Democratic governors that got in. One from, uh, and one from Louisiana and one from Kentucky. Kentucky, okay. That's right. Yeah. And this is the most important part of it. Doofus went and held big rallies for <laughs> both of them, them the yeah, week before I their elections. That, nice. I have that in here. I should have said that. And in too. both places, he said, <laughs> don't do this to me. Don't say it's a great defeat. Don't do it. was all about him, of course. Of course it was. All, we, know, all of I, this is all about I've him. come to do you a favor. It's all about me. Anyway, in both cases. Two out of three. There's another one that got in at some other place. I don't know where they are. Well, I mean, you yeah, know, I know, Virginia, yeah. the entire state went yeah. blue. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. About to, I mean, is it, if this is what had to happen. Yeah. Because right. it's not going to swing back, even if things, you know, the pendulum, right? Yeah. Swings one. It's not going to swing all the way back this way ever again. Here's the pendulum. Yep. Like <laughs> yep. Done. Done. Exactly. This Cap is it. Kaepernick. Last the, hurrah, everybody. The, the pit and the pendulum. <laughs> Kaepernick gave, showed off his uh, arm that he could still throw. Yeah, but was well, it, what, was his, what did his shirt say, though? I, I can't. I don't know. Don't I, you remember? Well, no. Because that's, that's part of it. I know. I don't want Well, you're just going to pretend that that's not part of the story? No. It is. It didn't I, matter that he could throw. It's that I, he was wearing a specific T-shirt while I, he was throwing. I've forgotten now what it was. It was um, um, um I was at a um, a, a, a reference to uh, um I don't want to say it wrong. So I can't I um I could look it up but I'm not going to do that. All right. Okay. Well, cuz that's very anyway, modern the thing of me to look it up almost, on my cell phone. Almost they're all feuding. Still. Almost all the commentators and even a majority of the black commentators yeah have said he screwed it up. Yeah. He clearly doesn't want to play again. He just wants to be a martyr to advance his cause. No. And then many of them will say, got, which is okay. He <laughs> got a nice, big, fat settlement already from this guy. Well, yeah. and that's who he's yeah. going to be now. That's Even if he didn't want to be this guy, he could never go forward and just casually... I think he wanted to be this well, guy. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so at the end of the day, that is who you're buying. Yeah. And if you don't want to buy him with all those pieces... Yeah. Do you want me to do the necrology? Well, they're clearly they're not going to buy it because, um, not. you know, it's... And then, yes, the NFL tried to trap him by giving him very short notice. I mean, any guy who hasn't played for three years should have more than eight days eight to days, get ready yeah. for the thing. Yeah. They tried to trap him, and then he switched it around on him <laughs> yeah, the by moving feet. the location <laughs> of the thing like a, uh, whatever it was an, an hour before the event field or something. Yeah. but it was like an hour's drive away well yeah. what happened is at the nfl thing there were 25 teams we represented yeah. at his thing there were seven mm. so, so so he shot himself in the foot yeah, and, and you know, it was probably intentional. Now, talking about shooting and feet and other vital, non-vital places, California. we will now take a brief break so that Kira can do oh. this week's necrology. Oh. Thank you. And we will be taking a brief moment of silence when we are done for the students in California okay. this week. Oh. Um, three incidents yes. in California. Yes, it's just surreal. But uh, let's, we're only going to reference these important three dead people today. <laughs> so we have Baha Abu al Atta. And I protested. Did I do it? Yes. He's an ISIS bad guy, and we took him down. He was, what, 41? Yeah. Yes. Good, good and, job. And the interesting thing is that we wouldn't have come anywhere close to him if it weren't for the Kurds. Uh, who, in spite of being stabbed in the back by the orange monster in the White House, mm. still helped us take both of these guys down. <laughs> yeah, we, they know our leader doesn't represent all of us. No, but so. he, does, he does weekly give a new and vibrant um, definition of treason. We talk, Agreed. And then we, <laughs> Agreed. Have a, we have a program at this place that I'm at, the Garnet House, and... It's called Current Events, and, yeah. and we were, one of the things, one of the women said that he, 
his hair seemed strange. When, uh, Taylor's hair, when he was testifying, she thought it was strange, and his eyelashes were different. So I said, I said to her, these things, it's very simple. He had a hairpiece on. You didn't know it. Oh, if you, now I'm telling you he did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm jealous, I said. <laughs> you want a nice, you can't be jealous. You want that. a nice rug? Okay, one more. Okay. okay. Um, one more. Okay. Um, 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 Branko Lustig, uh, film producer, Schindler's List and Gladiators, uh, 87. So we can just... Oh, and then the last one. Well, is Zeke... Is it Zeke Bartkowski. Zeke Bartkowski. Yeah. Zeke, I love the name. Zeke Football Bartkowski. Quarterback. He was the the Green Bay Packers quarterback before uh, Bart Starr came along. Yeah. And, uh, and Bart Starr was there before... What is that guy's name? Founce or whatever? No, what was his name? It was uh, the last guy who does tons of commercials now. I've forgotten who I've he was. I've forgotten too. Anyway, he. I've nothing to draw. He played. He played for three pretty strong teams: the Bears, the Rams, yes, and the he Packers. Did. Anyway, Zeke. He Barkowski. is, to the best of my knowledge, the last guy in the NFL named Zeke until Zeke Elliott came along. <laughs> No. Okay, I'm going to get a quick question before we do the uh, other Our thing. play. Quick question. Uh, Boeing wants its planes to get off the ground. Boeing is the company. The 737. Oh, the all those okay. two people, oh, two yeah. planes went down and 370 yeah. people were, were killed. Okay. They want to get those planes in the air because they're losing a fortune. My question is, to both of you, would you g get on that plane if you went down to the airport and they were? Flying? You mean like tomorrow? Well, let's say th two, three months from now. And which airline? Well, is this? I might three months from now, but okay. but you, what about which you? airline? No, no, it's not the it's airline. All the, it's the it's, plane. It's the specific it, planes. It's the Boeing seven thirty seven Max. Yeah, the Max. You know, at this point, they are on hyper hyper alert. That I wouldn't even think about it. The government still wants to continue. <laughs> I wouldn't. I really, I, you know. No, it's, I, I wouldn't go on. And, and that's the thing. No. Most people would. No, I want the government to come across and say, oh, this thing. Uh, except, except. I know. Do you trust this government? I wouldn't trust no, this government no, to tell me that it was okay. But, but, but I do trust these airlines who are getting sued and being cost millions of dollars for I wouldn't this. trust this government to tell me it was raining. Right? <laughs> so I, I trust the lawsuits that have already been in play and costing them, you know, millions and millions of dollars. So far. So Man, I legal, have to kind of count on that. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 that's what wakes, that's the wake up call for businesses well, to I change know. the way they do business is because now they're going to get sued. insurance companies too. Right? There's, now your insurance company, your premiums go up. It's, this is going to cost them a fortune. It's a nice summary here. Okay. It's called When the Government Fails, Rely on Tort. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, you are, That's the way it is. My, I'm sorry. My, you are counselor. Well, somebody's got to do it. What's my position on tort? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Don't want to hear. Like death, something I, I negative. Don't, I don't believe in it. He doesn't believe Yeah, something <laughs> negative. They, they have a, a, a medicine. I have like that was my common position. They have a medicine called Tult. Do they? Yeah, I, I saw it. Tult. What, what are you what taking for? What, I, I, what does I, that mean? It makes you feel better of some way. T A L T Z or something? T, t O T U T U T U L T. Well, I'm sick and tired of, of medicine ads on my television. And they don't even bother to no. tell you what they're for. They just try no, to get the I name. Yes, exactly. I have to see the name. If I, yeah. you know, I was going to bring people. in. Yeah. Sad people that then look happy. And the name of the drug. Okay. Or as I, or or as I said, when they gave me morphine, right. when they gave me morphine in the emergency room, that's good happy juice. <laughs> nice. When I took it, it I did gave it to myself a long, long time ago. Oh, really? With the yeah, I just yeah, and, okay. And I would have done anything to get another couple. <laughs> yeah. And that is why addiction is real, folks. Yeah, there it is. That's, That's it, it in a okay. nutshell. All right. Well, you're not going to get addicted when you've got large gaping wounds in you. <laughs> no. Probably. But ahead. when you go home sad and depressed and yes. you remember how you felt in that moment. That's right. I want That's a what happens. With that taste. That's right. Exactly. I, I want that again. I don't. No. It, we understand why. And lollipops. Yeah.
Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the big TV unrehearsed Thespian Society's presentation for this evening. Um, off the mid-lower regions of the of the script vault. Um, after all these years, we still don't necessarily have a title for this one, so well, it's you do being kind of, introduced there is as a little title. sort of a title. Food slash think. Think. Food thing. It's not very <laughs> creative food title. Think. Okay. Maybe we'll have to come up with one more. Now we're listen, done. guys, I'd love a pizza. Rather <laughs> common, don't you think? <laughs> Started out as a peasant food, you know. Dissertation, no. Cheese and sauce, yes. Well, I'd prefer broiled fish. Probably get it from a sea farm. Uh, give me barbecued ribs. Pepperoni, provolone. <laughs> I like the taste of fresh fish. Thin crust brushed with olive oil. Oh, boy. What are the troops eating in Iraq? The new, the new field rations are better, I hope. Yeah, the instructions read just add a little sand. Yeah. You? Oh, good. <laughs> See, I was waiting for you, sir. No, no. Good cooked meals. With pizza bread, say the embedded. Yeah, you just still can't stuff. even read that right. Okay. That's not mentioned. Strange but true. Media tells us we should diet. But GIs like to eat. Lots of energy used up. An army fights on its stomach. <laughs> Thought it marched on its stomach. Remember spam and powdered eggs? Uh, yes, yeah. And food rationing at home? The Navy and the Merchant Marine did okay. Come on, Mike, don't badmouth anybody. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, too busy eating. That's uh, that's why they. That's how I feel. Uh, <laughs> a wise guy. Yeah. So, where are we going tonight? How about a Chinese takeout? I thought you wanted pizza. I changed my mind. Well, I don't want that sushi. Raw fish? That's Japanese. How about boneless spare ribs as a compromise? That's an appetizer. Without sand? <laughs> a Chinese restaurant in Iraq? I, uh, I like a pizza parlor, I can see. Chow down at the base, that's the best. But it's not home cooking. Since when did you get nostalgia? It feels like spring. April showers. <laughs> we play some music, I guess. <laughs> I visited this sick old vet. No, you're a sick old vet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but stuff is starting to sprout. Like Life that. cycle repeating. Yeah, I know. So yeah. tell me, what's Spring Lake in Iraq? Send a letter to the editor. I want all the troops back safe. Amen, sister. Uh, where's all this heading? Just send in your tax form. Uh, you know, we get too much religious divisiveness. <laughs> divisiveness? I, at least they're all Muslims. And Iraqi parliament is coming. Rich or poor? I'd rather have peace. Ah, that's weird. First, he tells us he can't wait for pizza. Peace, pizza, close enough. At the UN. Will Kofi be replaced? They don't lose their jobs there. Tell me, how do you get a UN job? You have to know a foreign language. Joe's got that qualification. What's this? He's bilingual. I only speak English. Sort of. Doesn't sound like English to me. I never had any problems. Your other friends don't speak English. <laughs> Bunch of baloney. Oh. Say, deli say delicatessen might be tasty. For a change. I got some salami and some liverwurst here. Uh, we want fresh. That's insulting. Well, it's fine after you cut the mold off. Mold is good for you. You ever hear uh, of penicillin? Now he's a doctor. Oh, in his own emergency room. No, I call <laughs> it a kitchen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe meatloaf is tonight's best bet. I could settle for that. So, it's two against me now. We'll buy you a frozen pizza for later. I can't eat that. Uh, th this is new. You can't eat that. My physician, he said it's bad for my digestion. <laughs> this guy eats anything. Next, it'll be fish. No, nah, I'm off fish, guys. What's your problem now? A little queasy. Yeah, nothing some candy bars and pastries won't fix. Now that I can manage. Some diet. Until I get over my nervous, nervous stomach. Ah, <laughs> never heard of that. Yeah. So it's liquids tonight. Actually, I begin that next month. Does your stomach know? <laughs> Is your prescription in English? That means a State Department job. Oh, cut it out. Surgery, that soon? Doesn't look well. We ought to take his temperature. It's always gags with you guys, mm, huh? Too much pepper on that last pizza. That stuff will kill you. Okay, okay, you guys win. 
Thanks, guys, but I don't feel like fish anymore. Too bad. I think he, he's growing gills. Blackout. 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 Yay, we did it. 2005. All right. 14 years old. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Except it flies by. The I older you get, it just gets faster and I faster. You blink, and then it's this. Christmas again. Isn't that what happens? <laughs> I, I like this thing. They, uh, these guys that argue, uh, they wait until naturally the Democrats are finished. Then those creeps, the alligators that are sitting around there. Uh, this is at the. Well, that's the rules that they've made up. I know, but uh, everything, it's hearsay. Everything is hearsay. <laughs> I think that's funny. The whole thing is nonsense. It's just, it's hard. I can't even watch any of it with any seriousness right now. And watching people who would normally be able to rise above it being forced to acknowledge it's this is it's just... A, it's actually all right to watch until a Republican opens his stupid mouth. I, and that's it, right there. It just that's, hurts. That's it. It's that's just what the I'm ignorance. What, there's a whole conversation about the earth being flat. <laughs> They like, there's an actually conspiracy, a conspiracy theory. I mean, it, I just, there's no words. There's no <laughs> words. And then how do you engage everything with somebody is, who's going to fight with you? Everything and, is fixed. It's all gags. The whole thing is a fake. So tell me, how does a decent, um, reasonable, hardworking guy like Charlie Baker uh, still call himself a Republican? Trapped? It makes no sense. Well, hey, look, how you, what about this guy, Laval, who just st is going to step in? He, how, what Duval. Do you think <laughs> what do you His name is Duval. Duval or Devil? Du Duval. I mean, du Laval. Who, who, who are we referring Whatever to? It is. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear me at all? Yes, you said Duval. <laughs> His name is Duval. Duval. Yeah. yeah. Which Duval. one? Okay. What's his first name? It's really no. That's his. Well, he worked for Bain. Wait a minute. Name. His, last, his last name sounds more like a first name. It's Patrick. Pa that's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> that's what I thought you were talking about. But our again, former he, he, governor. He, he yeah. butchered the name. And then you guys almost yeah. got into fist, fisticuffs over it. Oh no, I'm not up to fisticuffs. <laughs> no, I'm not up to. Are it you sure? Either. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, that is totally and completely <laughs> ridiculous. Jamal Patrick entering at this time. <coughs> if he wanted to be president, people were trying to get him to run last time. As far as he, he was could. not interested. Yeah. And then people were trying to get him to run this time. Right. Nah. So now here he is. We got 17 people in the race. Ah, uh, don't forget me. me. That's well, that. I, I like, I'll tell you, I like that guy from New York. I don't care. Which one? Bloomberg. Yeah, I like Bloomberg. That's why everyone got really excited when he threw uh, his hat in the Ladies and gentlemen, range. just a footnote for those of you I know. who are not familiar with this program. Don't believe that Michael believes anything he says. That's just a general rule. <laughs> He's a hardcore Democrat over here who's a principal of schools and Wait fought for all kinds of rights. But Bloomberg is a Democrat now. He's running as a he Democrat. Is. Uh, he is. So what? So he's got sixty-eight billion to spend on stuff during the campaign. Yeah. I don't and know look, how I feel about it. I mean, people are excited, terms. but I don't know enough about him. He bought three terms in New York City. Look at that guy. Look at that guy who That's has it. spent forty-seven million dollars on ads. He has more ads than any Sa of the other um, candidates. Sa Sa starts with an S. Steyer. 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 I like him too. He's got. He's two, trying. He's two, trying to make a difference. He has He's run mad. more ads than all the rest of them combined. He started Good. all the petitions originally, and he hasn't broken one percent. It's okay. <laughs> we know his name, and we're talking he's about gonna, him. He's, he's making get 1%. a difference. That was worth forty-seven million dollars. No, because he started putting his name out there when this first went down. He was one of the first people that started putting his money behind fighting against what's happening. The wealthy families are against. Well, he uh, like Warren. Bloomberg. They should get together if they want to do something for America there you and go. buy Fox News. Ah, look at that. <laughs> you, know, you guys now have a goal. Buy Fox News. Get them off the Dismantle air. Dismantle it and change the name. Then they could save, do something to save America. Could, they could send oh, there to was a guy in the, Colorado. The Eastern Europe, the, the crowd from uh, Channel. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Fox News. There was News. a conservative commentator on the local channel in Colorado, and he started to tell the truth about Trump. Yeah. How, you know, Trump's actions were unforgivable and they were terrible, yeah, so and et cetera. Yeah. 
They cut in the middle of his broadcast. Yep. They cut to national news. They came in. They fired him on the spot. Yep. Why didn't you tell me something I don't know? <laughs> uh, why wouldn't they? Oh yeah, well, they actually yeah, yeah. did that. That's all. But you know what? He got to have his say. And you know what? If you're going to go out that way, it just it shines a light on Fox. Oh, it wasn't Fox. It was it was it was just a local. A, a oh, I thought it was Fox. Radio this station. guy Betajig. Gotcha. What is his name bought it. But but Budetich. 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 Oh. Well, he's, I, he, he's leading in the polls. Yeah, I'm well, hearing a lot of the polls. He, no, he's leading in Iowa. Oh, and Iowa, Iowa, the polls yeah. that they showed on on MSNBC. A lot of people like him, though. He is genuine. He is. If if he no, can I reach like a larger a lot, audience, he might pick up steam he, because is he, is he, I could get behind him. If I, I like him too, but the thing is, LSMFTD. Why why is he a better candidate than the people, you know, like Elizabeth and? And some others who they say are, you know, too far out. The guy's, what is he, 37 years old? Yeah, that's. Mayor of South Bend, Indiana. But he's also openly gay. And, and gay. That's a big married. part of it. Yeah, he's, he's also he, a vet. He's, he's, right? He's, he's, a vet. He's, you know? he's a real person who yes, had a real life. Is. And okay, so he was he's gay. Yeah, but, right? Yeah, relatively speaking, not. A long life yet. <laughs> no, true, but he's lived a full life. Well, no, There's I, a lot to be lived. I like him. I like him. The I things just, he would have had I to just, overcome to I get just, where he is. I just would not be too worried about running against him if I was Fair the enough. People. And if he doesn't do it this time around, he'll do it next time. Well, he's still going to keep so doing what they're happens. doing. Well, maybe not president next yeah. time, but so whatever his goals happens, are, yeah. we're rooting for you no matter what. <laughs> Pete. Mayor Pete. Yes. Mayor Pete, the mayor of Notre Dame. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the fun show Peace. here at Big TV. And it's um, raining. Yeah. We, uh, we so we're giving the weather be back. at the end. It's raining. Same now. time, Thank same you. channel. Yeah. Next week, um, we wish you uh, all the best, and please remember to vote in the town referendum on the Driscoll School on December 10th. And all you good vets. night. And good luck. Uh, good night, and uh, the vets should have.